All right, Shalom, Shalom. Before I begin this video, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Ha Rakakudash. The honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, GMS, who rule well and teach well, as well as the sincere salutations, all right, to the uh, you know, elder bishops, elder brothers, brothers who are in this truth, laboring in this truth, in sincerity, and in faith. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Ha Rakakudash. Thumbing to you, brothers. Uh, so this is just a quick um, video. I was going to uh, make this video basically a um, just put it on my page since I couldn't put the whole camp video on my page. Uh, I was just going to basically say that you know you can find the uh, GMS Port City Mobile Alabama camp uh, videos on GMS Port City Mobile Alabama. Uh, subscribe uh, and be edified okay <clears throat> so I'm gonna actually um, entitle this video the name of the Lord is dreadful all right to the heat to the heathen all right <clears throat> uh, so let me just go ahead and I'm gonna uh, play just a little bit of uh, the video but it's getting to the point where us going out on the highways and byways, it's going to get to the point where, you know, they're going to get brothers uh, off of the street, okay? The famine of the word uh, is coming, you know, they have these talks, you know, of anti, you know, S, you know, they're trying to, uh, you know, change all these laws in place, all right? And the, and the name of the Lord is dreadful, all right, among the heathen. When you hear when they hear the name of the Lord, it actually scares them. So I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, a video. Well, uh, Port City. Before we get started, we we'll face the East, giving all praise to Yahweh Yahweh So the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bashim Harakadash, is dreadful among the heathen. Why? Because that's the name of the Heavenly Father <clears throat> and His only begotten Son. And with the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son comes what? The words of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. You know, the Heavenly Father and, and you know, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, okay, their, uh, 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 their actions are going to be made known soon, man. Okay, these people, they're going to start, they're going to start to see, you know, the, the, the Lord, the Lord's uh, prophecies come to pass, man. It's going to get to the point where they, you know, they're going to want to get physical. You know, they're going to want to get carnal, thinking that they can stop, you know, the truth. But you're not going to be able to stop the truth, man. Heavenly Father, in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the ancient paleo Hebrew tongue. All right. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Double honors to the elders and apostles. The apostles and elders and great millstone will be teach well. And these blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. All right, the men, women, and children of believers. You know, we're just going to get straight into prophecy, man. You know? So. This is um, Galatians chapter 4. All right, um, get straight to the point. Verse 16. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Son, you know, our people don't, two-thirds don't want to hear this truth, you know. Don't know, don't, you know, don't nobody come up to inquire, you know, rarely. We out here, we can week out, you know, as the Lord commanded us to come out. Warning our people what's going on, telling them the truth of what's going on in the world. But our people don't want to hear it. You know, they, we become the enemies. They, they, they talk, talk shit behind the curtains. They try to get us locked up. You know, they want to see us doing bad. All because we telling them the truth of the Lord. The Lord said, you know, they going to keep my word, so they going to keep yours. They hated me first. You know? It's the book of St. John, chapter 15, verse 20. Remember the word that I said unto you. And it's written in red, this is how it says speak. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute 
you. If they have kept my sayings, they will keep yours also. These sayings are coming from Yahweh. All right, by Shem Yahweh Shah. Because the Lord speaks through his prophets. So. And like the brother was speaking on, you know, it's the words, it's the words of the Heavenly Father and, and, and His Son, right? Because the Heavenly Father, <clears throat> the Heavenly Father and, and His Son, you know, aren't physically here, but the words of the Abbasim Shai are here. We're not speaking our own words, we're speaking the words of the Heavenly Father, man. Uh, and if, and if, if they hate us, then, I mean, if they hated the Lord, how much more us, man? You know, because we, we, we coming in, in his in his steps, man. You know, we're preaching the same thing he was preaching back then to the, to the, you know, the people, man. You know, which, which, which were un, unpleasant things, man. Okay, you if, if you see it, then it's going to happen, you know, and stuff like that, man. You know, that's what we're doing today. We're prophesying the downfall of this kingdom. And, you know, two-thirds of our people don't want to hear that because they, they love it, you know, in this society. They love America, man. I got one. Hey, that up. Isaiah 65 and 12. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I call, how the Lord is calling, he called it off of the prophets, man. He said he did not answer. Oh, so, you know, the prophets and men of, of Yahabah Shemiah out on the highways and byways are bringing out the words of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Right, so hearing the names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai puts great fear on the heathen. It puts great fear on uh, the other nations, man. Okay, so because with with that uh, taking place, right, that's prophecy. That that is prophecy, man. You know, us being out on the highways and byways telling Moab, okay, you the so-called Chinese. Telling Ishmael, all right, you the so-called Arab. That's prophecy. Them getting upset, them getting uh, uh, mad, you know, <clears throat> that's part of prophecy. Them being, you know, hey man, they, they watch these videos and they get terrified. Okay, because you got, of course, you got heathens that are going to talk shit, you know, whatever. <clears throat> but you also have certain heathens that are going to talk shit. You know, but secretly, they're going to be terrified because they know it's true. Well, either that or they might just be flat out terrified. You know? It's nothing you can do. Basically, if you're a heathen, it's nothing you can do. You might as well just call it a day. You know, and just, just get ready. You know? Just like Esau Edom, just get, just get ready. Enjoy yourself. Do what you do. You know, because you, you got captivity coming up. Slavery's coming up next, man. All right, starting back over. Isaiah 65 and 12. Therefore, when I number you to the sword, that's going to be you two-thirds, man, of the nation of Israel, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native, Seminole, Indian. The uh -huh. Lord going to number you to the sword. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord is calling you right now, man. The Lord's hand is still stretched out. God damn all this fucking noise, man. Isaiah 65 and 12, therefore will I number you to the sword, you two-thirds, and you shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, the scripture talk about how the, uh, we done piped unto you, but you haven't danced, man. This new song. This a new song, you should be dancing to this tune, man. But yet it's still bitches want to twerk at, on the head like that red lights and shit. It's a goddamn stupid bitch, Glorilla. You know what I'm saying? But this new song is being played to you, but Jake don't want to hear it. It said, because when I called, you did not answer. When I spake, you did not hear. But did evil before my eyes. And did choose that wherein I delighted not. It said, he would number 
our people to the sword, our people the rebellious children, it's like. Uh, 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 let, me, uh, let me grab, let me grab one more verse, because it's basically saying, uh, uh, verse 13, thus, therefore thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Yeah, in the, in the times of famine, they orchestrating a, a, a famine right now, man. In the times of famine, you're going to be hungry, but the Lord's servant going to eat. And those that listen to the prophets, man, that believed in the report that the prophets had. You know, the, the scriptures talk about how when we speak, to roughly paraphrase it, is able to say those that hear us, you know. That's right. It's like, if this is Second Timothy chapter 2 and verse one, the point is in uh, is in two. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Hamashiach Yahweh and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses. The same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. So we, we teach what was taught to us. <clears throat> we teach in the exact same format that was taught to us, all right, in the way, the way that we read, the way that we speak, the way, you know, that we go through the scriptures, you know, we are taught through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai, through the elder apostles of Great Millstone, and that message, right, the, the words of Yahweh Shem Shai is dreadful among the heathen, this got the heathen up at night, this got the heathen in a cold sweat, all right, you know, hearing these um, words, and I'm uh, I'm gonna end the video after I uh, make a quick testimony. This was a couple, not a couple years ago. This may be a few years ago, maybe like three and a half years ago, <clears throat> four years ago. I was at work, uh, and there was a, a Edomite lady. She was one of them. Uh, church <clears throat> she's one of them church ladies that got you know uh 10 12 kids and she got the big old van and, you know she got the rich you know she one of them edomites with the real long skirts i forgot what you know denomination that is but <clears throat> you know she the, the name of the lord is dreadful uh among the heathen because when she had interacted with me she just kept saying she was sorry she was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She just kept saying she's sorry. And it wasn't until, you know, you know, a little bit later, you know, I think later on that week, I was just, you know, meditating on it and thinking, you know, she probably watched, you know, she probably saw a video about, you know, the Israelites, you know, because she, it was real, it was real fear. You know, sometimes things happen. And it's not until you think about it a little later. You might have been, you know, thinking about how it went down. But she was she was genuinely, genuinely scared. Now I didn't I didn't mention anything about being an Israelite. I didn't I, you know nothing like that. We had a very short um, interaction, but she just kept saying that. You know she said you know because they you know the heathen understands that hey with this with you being the heathen with you basically being. Um, uh, a slave in the future that's gonna come with a certain fear. Ain't nothing we can do about that, okay? You going into captivity, all right? You going into captivity, and like I said, see, these people they know that that's why they kind you know they bring up the Lord, they constantly bring up the Lord, or they constantly bring up the scriptures, and you don't even talk about it. Like me, myself, I don't, I don't mention anything about. Uh, the scriptures, like if I'm at work or, you know, you know, you, you know, cause brothers just can't kind of keep it, you know, keep it cool or whatever. But people always, it's like, they know. Okay. They know. Okay. It's something different. Uh, it's something different about him. Even, even the heathen, the heathen know. The heathen will try to, hey, you know, they'll try to, the heathen will try to, you know, entreat you. You know, try to be cool with you because they know, OK, it's a difference between the nations. Now, they may not know that they're a heathen and that we're the Israelite. They may not know that, you know, but they <laughs> they have they have a natural um, uh, fear, man. 
They have a natural fear. Like you ask any, you ask any of the other nations, who do you fear the most? And it's definitely the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American. You know, and and it's like that for a reason, man. Because Jake, Jake on this side is wild. Jake on this side is is out of pocket. But once the Israelites are in those perfect bodies, once you know Yahabashmiah Shai, you know, is ruling in perfection. You know the heat. The heathen is really gonna. The, the heathen is really gonna know. It's gonna be real. It's gonna be a real healthy fear in the earth, man. You know we're gonna go back to, you know, when I even go back, you know we're going to. It's going to be better than the ancient world. It's gonna be full order. All right, the Israelites are gonna be perfect. Okay, that's cut. That's coming very soon, man. Okay, the name, the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem Harakakwadash, is dreadful among the heathen. All right, we are faithful witnesses. All right, to the name and doctrine of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, faithful men. Right, we are we are brides of Yahweh Shai. Right, who shall be able to teach others also? <clears throat> Verse three, there. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. You know. And that's an everyday thing, man. <clears throat> it's an everyday thing, man. No man that warth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. Yes, yeah, so we're not we're not worried about the things of this world like everybody else is, man. You know, we're looking forward to the future, which is Yahweh Shai ruling. You have Hashem rulership, all right, and putting the elect of the nation of Israel, you know, as the governing body of the kingdom of heaven. All right, so with that, Lord's will, you are edified. Call halal, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Ha-Rakakwadash. The honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone once again, who do well and teach well, and the sincere salutations to you, hopeful elect out there. All right, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Ha-Rakakwadash. Barak a thumb into you, brothers, man. Okay? Uh, and let me go ahead and go down to uh, six. Second Timothy two and five. It says, "And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully." All right, so we gotta follow the laws, statutes, and commandments. All right, to the best of our ability. The husbandman that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. Consider what I say. And the Lord give thee understanding in all things. You know, so we got to consider that. Okay, us laboring in this truth. Okay, this means something, man. Okay, this actually this actually means something. We have to, you know what I mean? We have to uh, uh, really get into this. You know, we have to partake in this labor. Alright, so once again. Brakthi Hawa, Brakthi Awashai, Brakthi Hawa, Brakthi Awashai, Brakthi Hawa, Bashim Yawashai, Bashim, Haraka Kwadash. And uh, I'm going to make a, a second video, basically a little short uh, three minute video, um, just posting the camp page video on here. <clears throat>